In this demonstration, I'm going to go over the design of the Henry Books database that we're going to be using in class. Start here with our books table. And that holds the books in the database. Each book has a unique identifier called book code, has a title, and is linked to a publisher through the publisher code, a type, whether it's a romance, novel, whatever, nonfiction, fiction, the price of that book, and a yes no field for whether or not it's a paperback. Down here in the publisher table, we have our publisher code as its unique identifier and the name of the publisher and the city. Also, we have a table linking author to book. Now, it's important to remember that an author can write many books and a book can be written by more than one author. So we have a linking table here called Rote. And it links to our book through the book code and our author through the um, author number. And it's got a sequence number in there uh, to determine what sequence in those books that it was written. In the author table, there's an author number which uniquely identifies the author the author's last name and the author's first name. Next we're going to go to the inventory table. The inventory tracks how many books we have in our uh, store. Now inventory is tied to two tables as well. Book table and branch. Now it's important to remember each branch store can have multiple books in it and each in the, each book title can be found in multiple stores. So we have this linking table here with a book code to connect to book and a branch number to connect to the branch. And on hand tells us how many books are in that particular store. In the branch table we have our unique identifier branch num the name of the branch, its location, and how many employees are in that book, or in that store. And that is the design of the Henry Books database.